Reagan had defined the, the Soviet Union as the evil empire. I mean, this, this is in terms of, you know, good and evil. As part of this crusade against godless communism, who did we support in the 80s in Afghanistan? The Islamic fundamentalists. The CIA, after what happened to the Soviet Union in Afghanistan, took credit for their operations, undercover operations there. The Saudis took credit for the money that they sent. Everybody took credit for it, but they all forgot that there was this Islamic muscle which took credit for Allah. We have a picture we want to show with you. Do you know this man? I said, of course, this is Sheikh Omar Abdul Rahman. Who is Sheikh Omar? I said, he is the one who ordered the assassination of my president. I don't know why um, the blind Sheikh was issued a U.S. visa to come to the United States. And who comes to the United States in September of 92 is Ramzi Yosef. And he immediately hooks up with those same guys and he becomes the master bomb maker in place of our former Yamatsa. I flew to Manila uh, at the time to investigate uh, what was going on. I was shocked by the audacity of the plot. These uh, departments and agencies don't naturally work together. CIA comes in and says, that's all great. That's wonderful. We're going to get these guys. We're going to round them up. But we're going to continue to operate and try to gather intelligence and sources to get further in that network. And all right, maybe we don't want to arrest that guy at that time. Then you have the State Department, who doesn't look at the CIA view or the FBI view. It looks 50 years down the road. As an FBI agent, I don't really give a damn about your 50-year long-term view. I care about the evil sons of bitches that kill these sailors. You had an, uh, an army of Islamist jihadists experienced they just needed someone to collect them together and find a common cause. Bin Laden said it was the duty of every good Muslim to kill Americans wherever they find them. Uh, and if somebody wants to murder you, I take that pretty seriously. There were a lot of indications, a lot of separate sources, that, that told us that people in the Al-Qaeda network believed a major attack was coming. I mean, you bomb the embassies, you attack the coal, uh, First World Trade Center, um, and whatever else he had done. I mean, and we were feeding information all the time. The intention uh, was very clear. Uh, Bin Laden said he was going to attack us. We were trying with the information we had to learn as much as we could as quickly as we could. We just knew it. We just knew that it was just, just like this volcano just waiting to erupt. And it did.